Okay, in this video, we're going to set up a Facebook retargeting campaign in uh, using Lead Barrel. Now, retargeting, in a nutshell, is where your ad is going to continue to follow around and be shown to people who opt in or who visit the site, the initial offer that you drive traffic to. So, what you're looking on the screen here is a campaign that was just set up for a bank-owned property funnel for a mortgage lender, uh, and then what's going to happen is we're going to set it up so that anybody who opts into this funnel, not just the people who click, but the people who show interest, are going to now be added to a retargeting list so that this mortgage lender can continue to market to them to show his message. And the, uh, the thing at play here, of course, is that people see your message over and over again. We know, in this case, that they're already kind of interested. They clicked an ad, they opted in, and we're going to have a nice little list where we keep uh, showing our message to them, right? We have an idea that they might be interested. So let's get to it. Enough rambling on. Uh, first thing we're going to want to do is go to our ads platform. We're going to notice on the left side where it says audiences. I'm going to click that where it says audiences on the left side of my Facebook ads dashboard. I'm going to create an audience up here at the top right. So let's create audience. And I'm going to click custom audience. And I'm going to do it based on website traffic here. Uh, and this is going to be people landing on a specific page in our lead barrel account. Anybody who visits my website, I'm gonna go longer. I'm gonna say, hey, keep this list active for uh, 365 days. Uh, this is a real estate example. It's just like, you know, it's a long time. People might not buy for a long time. And actually, don't take that advice. Facebook maxes it at six months, so it's 180 days, I just noticed. Include past website traffic, and we'll do foreclosure list uh, opt-ins. This is the name of this. It's just for records, you'd name it whatever you need to for your situation. Create my audience. I'll hit OK. And now the next thing I'm going to need to do is create my pixel. My, uh, get my pixel, the little piece of ad code that I that I need um, here. So I'm going to click. A ch I'm going to check on my foreclosure list opt-ins. Actions. I'm going to say view pixel. Boom. And I get this bit of code right here. If I click inside here, it copies. It uh, highlights it all. I can copy all that code, and now it's time to go hang out and go check out Lead Barrel and get this code integrated in our page. Now, I said in the beginning that we only want this to be shown to people who opt in. If you want to, you can say, hey, I want everybody who clicks on this ad. They show some kind of interest. I, I want everybody to see this, right? So you could do it in step one here, which is the first landing page in this sequence. I'll just show you what that looks like. Right? We, could sh we could have it fire when everybody lands here, whether they enter an email or not. But what I want to do here is I only want to show it to people who land on the second step, meaning they gave us an email. I want to do it when they land on this page, and you know they're about to take the second step survey and continue to the list. I want only those people. I'm going to really spend my money hammering home those people who are seriously interested. They're going to be getting my drip campaigns through Lead Barrel, uh, everything. They're going to know who I am, and I'm going to follow them all around Facebook, too. So let's go here to my step two page, I'm going to click on, oops, I'm going to click on my gear, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to where it says page scripts down here. After I click my gear, I can make my box bigger by dragging at the bottom right. I'm going to paste in that stuff from Facebook and click save. Okay? Now, just a note, don't worry if Facebook says not ready. Uh, if, if you're ever doing this, Facebook says that they haven't fired. Until somebody visits, they probably won't uh, register the script. You can see that error from time to time, but don't worry too much about that. All you, what you should know right now is that this page, whenever somebody lands on it, it's going to fire a script in Facebook, and then your this list size here should start to grow as you get opt-in. So you might want to check back in a few days after you know you've had maybe 20, 30, 40 people hit that page, and then it should start to show a number here on the size, and you'll know it's working. Okay? So that's part one. We've got the retargeting custom audience script embedded in our page in Lead Barrel. Easy enough, right? Let's go to step two, which is where we're going to run an ad to these folks. Okay? So let's go back to our ads manager here. Manage. Okay, and here's my initial ad that was driving them there, and now I want to create a new ad that's kind of like my retargeting ad. All right, and I'm going to say send people to my website. All 
I can also promote my page. Let's just do this as an example. Let's say I want these people liking my fan page. Okay, I'm going to do this just because it makes it easy, but you can drive them to any objective in Facebook. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to say, hey, I want them to keep seeing my, uh, my mortgage wholesale network page. Okay, this is Jared, uh, the, the test case here. But say he wants them to see his main business page just so they can keep seeing his message, knowing who he is, they're going to get emails from through the drip and be like, oh, there's that dude again, right? So uh, Mortgage Wholesale Network page likes, I'll call this campaign, retargeting, okay? There we go. And then uh, we'll do, instead of picking all this other demographic stuff, what we're going to do now is we're going to choose a custom audience. And remember, we just set up our audience. It was called Foreclosure List Opt-ins. Boom, all right? It's fewer than a thousand people. There's nobody on there yet, but that's okay. Uh, I picked my like my page objective. All right. And then I'm going to set my budget. Now you're going to, in the beginning, you're not going to spend any money on this. I mean, you're, you, you know, you might spend, if you're lucky, 20 or 30 cents a day, but the list will grow over time and maybe you'll spend more. Um, we're going to do connections all here. It said only people uh, not connected to mortgage wholesale network, Facebook shows. You can kind of leave that there. Uh, so that once they like the page, it won't keep showing them. And then uh, we're pretty good to go. Now, uh, I'm not going to play with the ad copy and talk about what best practices are. That's that's another subject for another uh, thing right now. But here's what the ad looks like. Great. And I can place my order and we're done. Now, let's review what happened here. Uh, we ran an ad to a page in Lead Barrel. Only the people who opted into the page and made it to our second step survey showed some serious interest were added to a retargeting list. Now, now that we know these people are kind of interested in real estate and we know they're getting emails and seeing our name in their email inbox, we're going to continue to show them an ad over and over again, right? We're talking about touches, getting top of mind status, uh, and only those people are going to see this ad. Um, very strategic stuff, a uh, little bit advanced, sure. But uh, doing this all with Lead Barrel makes it very easy because you can quickly go to the pay desired page and drop that pixel in there. Remember here with the little gear, you just go ahead and drop that retargeting script in right there. Okay, so uh, if you are a uh, paying uh, Lead Barrel member or you're a member of one of our partners, maybe Reticulous or one of our other white label partners, and you want help with any of this or you ever need help, just go to the support group. Um, in uh, you know, the Lead Barrel Facebook support group or send in a support ticket to your white label partner or to Lead Barrel support at leadbarrel.com and we'd be happy to help you with any of this. Uh, but it's simple enough and we'd love to hear how you use this feature, how you use uh, retargeting. We'd love to see your case study and hear what you think. Okay, thanks a lot.